What follows is a broad overview of the study of human language. Please explore the specific lesson playlists on this channel, or visit nativelang.com slash linguistics to learn more. What is linguistics? Well, we can use it as a term for nothing less than the study of language. So how do we define human language, and how can we study it? That leads to a number of questions, both ancient and modern, from the time of Panini's Sanskrit grammar to modern computational linguistics. What are the building blocks of human language, and how can we model, explain, or account for natural language? Answering those questions leads directly to theory. Theoretical linguistics explores sound structure of individual languages, the way speakers put sentences together, how speakers build words, the role of meaning in language, word choice and vocabulary, and meaning and use in context. But do we study speech or writing in our effort to explain human language? Modern disciplines focus on spoken language, as it's more spontaneous and universal, but we can also learn and theorize about writing systems. What if we focused on describing human language instead of modeling its structure more abstractly or theoretically? From here, we can head to comparing languages, and we can show how they change over time, and how one language relates to another genetically. Linguists can describe the real-life spoken languages indigenous to peoples across the globe from a wide range of cultures. They can describe the social variation of a language within a single culture, and even how humans make speech sounds and form marks on the page to write. What if we ask instead, how is language relevant to everyday life? Language is learned and taught, processed by computers, language relies on human biology, Language is intertwined with the role of the brain and its functions, and it has many other applications. Let's take one last angle. What tools do we use to study human language? These include field notes, grammar books, parse trees, dusty manuscripts, statistical models and data sets, derivations, spectrograms, and just plain mental analysis and questioning, to mention but a few linguistic tools drawn in random order. There are many questions to ask about natural language, and many ways to talk and think about languages. I hope this top-level slice gives you a taste of the variety of approaches available to you.